Would you call this a psychic experience? And here we go again, guys. Uh, another, this is another Raptor series knife. I completed. Again, this is number fifth, number five. I uh, still got two more. I'm probably gonna keep one of those and sell the last one. Uh, bright yellow pen uh, details. Uh, you can see, very nice finish, sharp. I mean, like I said, this this knife is sharp. I don't have to show you every time how sharp it is. I mean, you get you get the point. Stainless steel pins, stainless steel guard. Again, the guard it's uh, welded to the knife itself. How I did it. Um, I was able to put a nice tack and this the scales of the knife They're actually a little bit concave on under to, to leave some 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 space for the weld and then um, it was uh, 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 Covered with uh, super epoxy uh, aggressive teeth to cut wood and branches um, as well as bones if you're uh, taking apart a um, animal like I said, these are Apocalypse Survival Knives. This is what I, this is my series. Um, again, the texture in the leaf spring was hard to keep. Um, but like I said, some people might not like it. So these knives weren't for those kind of people. Um, these are, like I said, I'm trying to make my own different designs. These were actually from a 1972 Barracuda. That was probably that the springs were out there for the weather. Again, three cycles of normalizing. Um, normalizing cycles. Uh, a quench to you know around 15 600 degrees and then three cycles of um, for tempering of four of 400 degrees 450 around that's pretty much it um, stay tuned for the next videos and I'll make sure I keep posting them thanks for watching this is the world that you know